Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally going to cover defensive tips for NHL 21. There hasn't been an NHL video game that saw this big of shift in terms of meta and gameplay in years. And I wanted to play, you know, 100 to 150 games of Rivals or head-to-head -to, -head to be able to give you guys some tips that I think would actually help you out. As, uh, you know, the straight line meta, the, the small players just flying down the wing, as well as the backdoor passes that are getting through. I'm going to teach you guys how to stop that, how to limit it at least, and use the strategies that I showed you in my strategy tip video um, to their full effect in the defensive zone and whatnot. So guys, let's get into all the defensive tips for NHL 21. Also, don't forget to catch me live on Twitch starting at 10 a.m. every single day. Link is down below. If you have any questions or anything like that, I'll answer them immediately in my Twitch channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Daily NHL Content. But let's get into the defensive tips for NHL 21. All right, so let's start with turning over the puck in the offensive zone. Because if you can stop the breakout or limit their zone entry, you don't have to worry about playing defense. And it is by far the most important part of this game. If you can limit their entries into your zone, you just do not have to play as much defense and avoid that whole backdoor pass fiasco. So in this scenario right here, it's a perfect example of what you want to do basically every time that you lose the puck in the offensive zone. And that is immediately switch to your furthest player back and you want to skate him back as far as possible the reason that you're doing this you don't have to stay on them you could then switch to the player that's close to put some pressure on but doing this will save you and at least give you enough of a chance to get back and not just get burned because what you're trying to avoid is that slow turn that your defensemen are going to make as the forwards just fly right by you down the boards all right, let's start talking about protecting against the backdoor and cross-ice pass. You've seen it a million times. You know what that's what your opponent is basically single-handedly going for on every single rush. So how do we stop that or limit it? Well, basically what you want to do is play man-to-man -man on the backdoor player. And man-to-man -man defense means that you are taking whatever player, so usually it's going to be the either left or right defenseman because they're the ones that are supposed to take care of the, the weak side winger. Um, and you are just going to stick on that player on the back door. But what you want to make sure is that you're setting up your AI before you make that switch to put as much pressure on the puck carrier as possible before you do it, okay? So in this example you're going to see here, I put pressure on with my strong side defenseman, I put some pressure on, and then I immediately switch to try and cover the back door, but again, I'm able to get the puck back before that. Here again is another example of switching off immediately to try and cover that backdoor pass. And again, the more that you do it and the better that you get at it, you're basically getting your AI to get as close to the puck carrier as possible and then switching off and make sure you're switching to that backdoor player in case they are actually able to get that pass off because you need to be the one to, to make sure that you intercept it because you know your AI is not stopping that backdoor pass. All right, the next thing I need to teach you guys is where to actually be in the defensive zone because this is going to play a huge part in how your AI reacts. So essentially what happens is if you're say you're controlling one player, let's say it is the left winger. Okay, the left winger's job in this scenario is that top left defenseman. If you take your left winger and you bring him all the way down to the bottom right, your right defenseman, whose job is to attack the puck carrier in this scenario, will then be like, oh crap, the left winger's down here. I need to go cover the point. And your AI will actually recognize that and then go and cover. But the problem is in that few seconds or that split second that your AI is having to make that decision, that is when you see nine times out of ten either a pass to someone wide open or you're able, the opponent is able to walk right around you because your AI is not tr now playing the correct spot. He's trying to make up for somewhere that you're forcing them to go. Now, you can use that to your advantage, specifically when trying to stop someone breaking into the zone. If you take your centerman, for example, and someone's going down the left side of the boards, if you kind of move towards your defenseman, you can force your defenseman to go left a little bit more and, and, and things like that. But in this scenario, I need to teach you guys exactly where to be. So... In any defensive situation, here is what is supposed to happen. Your left winger is supposed to cover the top left defenseman. Your right winger is supposed to cover the top right defenseman. Now, obviously, there's going to be more space and cushion depending on the settings you're using. In this scenario, I use collapsing because I recommend it. Points are just not being used because the one-timers are just muffins from every which way. Okay, so you can play a little bit softer at the point. You bring them down into the slot helps stop those you know in the cross or in the in the slot one timers okay your center his job is that middle guy in the slot he can do one of two things he can play passive and play in the slot 
or he can help the defenseman in the bottom right attacking and trying to cut off passing lanes uh, to get the puck back. Again, you want to play passive for the most part, um, but that other left side defenseman in this scenario, he's the one that's covering the backdoor pass. He is the one that's job is to make sure that that backdoor winger is covered. And whenever someone is on the other side of the ice with the puck, like this guy is in the bottom right, that's all he's looking at. That is all he's looking at. If you're playing a good player, that is the only play player that he is trying to watch. And once your AI gets free of him, then uh, that's usually a GG. In this scenario, so I take my center, I'm using Gretzky, I know where I need to be. In this scenario, he gets free of that defenseman, and there's one pass to make, and I make sure that I'm the one covering it. Guys, once you know where you're supposed to be, you have to make sure that you're switching off so that you're not, when you're playing a zone defense, you are not pushing and making your AI make unnecessary adjustments. So if you were trying to pressure someone at the point, switch to your right winger. Here's another example, guys, of playing man-to-man -man defense on that backside player. Again, you have to make sure that you have the right player selected. So in this scenario, I've got the right defenseman. I want to play off of him, switch over to my left with Hedman, and I just sit and make sure that that backside pass is covered. If that's covered more often than not, that's where the player's looking, meaning the AI that's attacking the puck carrier has free reign to kind of put pressure on, and that's when they're going to lose the puck quite a bit. So even though you're not you're not the one attacking the puck carrier, because of how this game plays and that the backdoor passing is just so rampant, you have to be the one to cover that backdoor pass, which is fine, because in most cases, um, you know, it, it's going to lead to turnovers. Next, I want to give you an example of how to actually use the 1-2-2 red effectively. So I mentioned in my strategies video, and if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. It'll explain all of the, the best strategies to use for each scenario, okay? And against this player, he passes the puck out of the zone quite a bit. So I'm using the 1-2-2 red, which is the most effective to use against. And you see that I'm switching to the player that is right closest to the puck and putting immediate pressure on him. That is how you use the 1-2-2 red. If you keep on one player while using this strategy, he is going to eat your... AI alive on the rush and it's going to be easy access into your zone because it's only going to have two players at the blue line once he's through the neutral zone whereas the one four there's four players obviously um, but again if he's passing the puck a lot through the zone he's going to be able to get through that one four pretty easily so again in this scenario we want to make sure you're passing um, and switching to the player that is now about to receive the puck and once you do that you put a pressure on immediately he's going to have a heck of a time getting through the neutral zone. All right, guys, so I just wanted to do a, you know, basics for defense here to teach you guys where to be in the defensive zone, you know, making sure that you're using man defense to cover that backdoor player, effectively putting your AI in position to stop a rush before switching, things like that. I'm going to do an advanced defense video that will break down passing lanes, common go-to goals, things like that, using the skill stick a little bit more effectively. Um, that'll come in a future video as well. But thank you guys for watching. And if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll see you next time.